Hello and welcome to another manga spotlight. So this is the hero who returned and remains the strongest in the modern world. So this is kind of like a reverse Isekai. It actually kind of reminds me of the Isekai that I pitched in a previous video. So for anyone who didn't see it, um, you guys can probably find it. I will probably leave it at the end of this video. But I kind of pitched my own version of an Isekai. If I were to do an Isekai, what would it be? And one of my ideas was... What if we had like basically a reverse Isekai, where the hero starts off, um, our, our main character starts off as like a hero, and maybe he just defeated the Demon King or whatever, and then he gets teleported into our world, and it's almost kind of like the reverse. Rather than the main character being a loser and then gaining all these powers, the main character becomes like a hero with all these powers, and then he loses them all. And it's like, how is he going to fit in this modern world, where like he's kind of like a fish out of water? This is somewhat like that. Oh, he's actually... It's, it's like an Isekai, and then it's reversed. So basically, we have our hero, whose name is um, Daiki. And we start off with him uh, in this fantasy world, and he just defeats the Demon King. And he slays the Demon King, and everybody's happy, everybody is celebrating. And then all of a sudden, he gets teleported back into his world. So what happened was... Um, Daiki was kind of like a loser who was constantly bullied. And then uh, one time when he was in his uh, school bathroom, he just teleports uh, into this fantasy world where he discovers he's the hero. And then he, you know, he levels up and he defeats the Demon King. We don't see any of this stuff, but this is like stuff that's kind of like implied in flashbacks. And then after he defeats the Demon King, he goes back to his world. However, uh, he goes back to his world with all the knowledge and all the skills and abilities and stats that he had when he was in the fantasy world. Uh, so basically he comes back to this world very OP. And we have him basically going, he's like testing out his uh, his abilities. So like one night like he sneaks out and he, he uses one of his spells and he just basically blows up a whole forest and creates a huge, a huge like shockwave and earthquake that the next morning while he's eating breakfast, there's actually like a news report. It's like, you know, a small, a small scale earthquake was observed in the Pacific Ocean just before dawn today. The government claims there is the possibility that some country is testing a small nuclear weapon or some sort of new weapon. And basically after he realizes this, he's like, oh crap, like magic is not natural in this world, obviously. And I gotta basically keep my powers under wraps and not show them off and not, you know, do anything because it's going to just grab a bunch of attention that I don't need. Uh, meanwhile, uh, he basically befriends, I put befriends in quotes. <laughs> it's more like they antagonize him somewhat, but he meets these two girls. One is named um, Layla and she is basically the typical um, mixed race character that, that you see in uh, a lot of animes where uh, basically they have like a character who's like half Russian, half European, half Japanese, kind of, and it's always like you know the uh, blue-eyed, blonde hair kind of character. I actually like Layla. She's she's kind of cool in my opinion. She's a little annoying at first, but after a while, she she kind of warms up to you. And she's not like a sundere, but she's just more of a energetic kind of like not full of herself, but she is very confident in her abilities. And basically, uh, she is a exorcist that's sent from the vatican and what happened is that daiki discovers that there are actually demons in this world in this uh instance is like a giant spider basically is attacking uh this innocent cat that daiki had befriended earlier inside uh, a park and then there's other uh like deities and stuff like that basically um however unlike in the fantasy world, which is a lot of like creatures based off of like European mythology and stuff like that, in this world, it's since he's in Japan, it's basically kind of like, um, kitsunes and stuff like that. It's like uh, demons and deities and ghosts and stuff based off of like Japanese uh, legends. So Daisuke, uh, Daiki realizes that there's uh, a you know there's demons here. Um, so he 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 meets Leila, who is a like I said, she's a um, exorcist from the Vatican. Then he also meets Bino Kaguya, and Bino is a uh, Miku, and she also like takes on demons and stuff like that. And basically, Bino is happens to stumble across Daiki just as he finishes off this giant spider with one punch, 
And that's when she discovers that Daiki actually has a lot of uh, a lot of strength, a lot of abilities. And when he scans her, the funny thing is he actually realizes that she's the opposite. She she's like she's a demon hunter, but she's weak as hell. Uh, in fact, when he when he uh, analyzes her with his uh, analyze ability, he discovers that she's actually a level one. <laughs> so in the fantasy world, she's basically the same as a villager. Uh, so he decides to basically train her. And as he's training her, uh, Layla starts noticing and she kind of gets involved. And basically the story kind of splits off into uh, Daiki, Layla, and Abino fighting demons together in this new world. And that, that, that's pretty much where we're at so far. Uh, this is based off of a light novel series, I think. This is once again, it's one of those words like, I don't know if it's a light novel. I don't know if it's a web novel. I don't know if it started as a web novel, then became a light novel and then got adapted into a manga. Cause that's for anyone who hasn't watched any previous videos uh, and anyone who's like not familiar with um, with that. So a web novel is basically what it sounds like. It's when uh, authors post up their stories on the web, kind of like fan fiction, only instead of based off of fandom, it's original material. And sometimes some of these things, these stories can become really popular, popular enough that a publisher comes in and is like, hey, we want to publish your your story. So then um, when that happens, the web novel turns into a light novel. And the light novels are usually a lot better quality than the uh, web novels because web novels is basically just the author putting his stuff out. Whereas the light novel, it's the author putting his stuff out through a publisher, which, re uh, which usually requires an editor who's like going in and fixing up and cleaning up some stuff. So yeah, a lot of a lot of new anime and stuff in manga coming out is actually based off light novels, which have started as web novels. Um, that's kind of just like a, a little ramble about that. So I don't know if this is a web novel or a light novel or both, but um, there is a text version of this that you can read online. Um, you can find it at Novel Updates, and it's like ninety something chapters so far. Whereas the manga, we're only about like seven, eight chapters. So I don't know where the story is going to go from here because I haven't read the uh, the text version. But yeah, so basically that's pretty much uh, the story so far. We, we get a hero who was transported into a fantasy world, became, um, you know, the hero that defeats the Demon King, gets teleported back, keeps all his powers, and then he meets up with these two girls who have their own demon abilities even though they're a lot weaker than him they're stronger than the average person because the average person isn't aware of uh of demons and monsters and stuff and the two kind of form this demon fighting team and they go out and they fight demons obviously <laughs> what else would a demon fighting team fight but yeah that was the hero who returned and remains the strongest in the modern world it this is a i think it's a good series so far like i am a huge huge fan of demon slaying stories whether they be set in you know the past in the fantasy world or whether they be set in modern day times, um, there's just there's just something about like a character or a group of characters teaming up to fight demons that just tickles my funny bone. You know I'm a huge fan of that, and the fact that this is an I I say guys somewhat I also have a very <laughs> I say guys this is a very guilty pleasure of mine. There's a lot of good stuff good ones out there uh obviously like uh konosuba and stuff like that and then there's a lot of trashy hentai almost edge lord i say guys and i read those too <laughs> i don't know if i'll ever do a review on those just because uh i don't know maybe on bit shoot i can get away with it but the fact that this kind of combines both, it's like, oh, I definitely have to give it a, uh, a chance. Uh, you know, I definitely got to get a, give it a read. And uh, yeah, I got, I, I've, I've enjoyed it so far. It's pretty good. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Tell me what you guys think. Are there any mangas out there that you guys recommend? It can be anything. It doesn't have to be a nice take. It doesn't have to be a demon or anything. It can be any manga. Uh, and uh, I'll, I'll give it a, a look. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys take care. And I hope to see you guys next time. Later.